And welcome back to another Let's Get Mad Incorporated video with my emo cat. And today we are doing Wizards of Legend. So I just reset my save file on this. I really enjoy this game. I've completed it through the whole game, got basically everything involved with it. I just did it two player the whole time. So I thought might as well do solo and bring it to YouTube and show you guys and for I'm going to be uh, streaming all of them on uh, Twitch as well. So if you want to catch me live, check me out on my Twitch. Other than that, I will be uh, just uploading these to YouTube as much as I can. So I I'm hopefully going to be playing through this all the way through to the end. But it will take me some time. So, because I could easily do uh, like 50 parts in this without even beating the whole game and collecting all the different uh, chaos abilities hence these things so now you go through the basic trial of the game Uh, the hardest part's gonna get is getting used to the fact of not having like a set set of abilities that I'm used to using. Because at a certain point, you just only use the same abilities over and over again because you get used to a comfortable play style. Um, I play as a, mainly a wind user. Uh, sorry, wind and earth. What the hell is that? That's new. That's new. Like, oh god. Oh god. Fire! Okay. So, I haven't played this game in a little while. There's been a couple of major updates. I never really played through from scratch since they added in the electric boss. But we'll go through all of that as I go forward. Uh, did I not go the right way? Oh wait, no, I was supposed to come up here and grab this insignia. And there's the little tutorial. Well, your accommodations and our services are provided by the Magic Council. Also included is a one-time stipend of a hundred chaos gems. Ooh, you have to excuse the mess. We weren't expecting any guests so soon. Well, not to worry. We'll have everything sorted out shortly. In the meantime, let's do a round of introductions. Alright, so. I, I'm just gonna go through this easy for you. Abilities, items, gear, I don't know. Cam, man, I'm here to help you remember your favorite sets of relics. Okay, so you can save your sets. This is something new that I've never dealt with before, so I don't know how often I'll actually deal with it. But let's see, we only have the one basic, the one dash, the one pop. Oh. Uh, hmm. Oh, actually, I'm going to go as ice instead of fire. Yeah, and then I like the spears. Uh, I guess I should probably talk to them. Uh, oh, we start with two. A technology museum, newly open chaos, trials exhibit, okay. Oh. And then the freezing sprite, that's definitely useful. So, the all the sprites uh, basically do a small amount of damage uh, around you to enemies occasionally. So, they're definitely good, but not 100% the best. 
and then the friendship bracelet increased damage and movement speed has boosted effects when you're with a true friend so that's if you're playing multiplayer that's why it's unlocked right away and then your basic gear you don't have anything special okay and that's just to increase your ego apparently so now we head up here and we head to the main event so we'll go through uh one time show you everything going on here buy items buy new abilities training dummies uh new uh robes Uh, she'll give you 200 gems to start your match if you give her, I think, 10 or 20 chaos gems. Uh, he'll randomize your full setup. Uh, I think you have to beat the game to get your cursed relic starters. You'll be able to start with a cursed relic. Something goes on down over here afterwards as well. But we'll leave anything that's not around here out until it shows up. Ooh. Uh, that would, that's good, but that's not my playstyle. So, I might be a little bit cheap here, but I'm, all you need to do to get a good ability to start out is just go back and forth, and then it resets the shops. See how it starts up? Oh yeah, that's one of the main ones I used to use before I ended up getting the chaos powers. So... Yeah, that, I'm happy with that. So, I don't think I need anything there. And I'm going to get 200 coins to start. Because I believe that that's probably going to be my best bet. And let's go. This is going to be our first run. So, the order of the bosses differ and the bosses differ. So, we got wind, earth, and fire. So... I'm okay with this combo to an extent. The bosses I find the hardest are like fire, ice, and electricity. The electricity is only hard because I haven't faced it as much as the rest. Ice and fire are just a couple of bitches. Oh, damn it. God, I feel so weak. I feel so weak. Ugh. All right. All right. Some extra gold and stuff. Oh God, no. Okay, I got. I remember how to dodge better and use my power-ups more precisely. Oh god. These guys are just ridiculous tanks. Like, a bunch of them in a small room is literally like worst case scenario. And if you're in the middle of casting an ability and you get hit, it always stops the cast. Oh. And you have a charge bar, the blue meter, it uh, gives you that boosted uh, B attack. So whatever you have in your B slot when you first start up the run is going to be your boosted attack. Alright, now that I got a boost, I'm with that. Go on, enemies. Oh god. So, these guys are fairly easy. Their timing and stuff is really easy to calculate. As long as you're not being stupid, these guys pose zero threat. Nice, okay, we made it to the shop. Let's see what items we got. Sinister Ledger, uh... This relic increases all damage for every enemy defeated, but loses effectiveness when taking damage. Has a chance to fire off a pair of dragon uh, arcanas when uh, using basic arcana. 
Uh, regenerate health every time you pick up chaos gems. Increase armor based on the amount of chaos gems held. Defeating an enemy by pushing them into a pit grants a small heal. That's actually a new item I haven't seen. That's awesome. And then adds a chance to poison foes. Uh, I'm going to get the regenerate health every time I pick up chaos gems. I think that's going to help. And then, um, oh, they moved the potion off to the side. The potion used to be part of the items. So that can bring us right back to the start, which kind of works. We'll see what's the other pathways. Uh, once I unlock a certain item, it's the only item I ever use, and it's the map. So I like using it because it means I'm not relying on extra powers to do my run. So if I ever lose it for any reason, I'm not too shit out of luck. But um, also, I just like to know where I'm going. It makes traversing and uh, avoiding needlessly uh, annoying rooms. So. Uh, like, I, I could sit around and just spam the shop and stuff with the technique I told you at the beginning just to get the exact thing I wanted, but. For something like this, that just feels a little dirty to me. Like, if I was just doing this solo, I might, but since I'm just doing this for, I'm doing this for a video and stuff, I'd feel a little bit wrong. That was tough. Alright, so if I'm being smart, what I'll do is I'll head back to the shop and get the potion. Uh, and if you fall off edges, you don't instant die, you just take damage. So, head back here, grab the healing potion. Uh, might as well finish exploring down here to make sure I'm not missing anything, yeah. Oh, uh, yes, so we got the boss room here. Let's do this. Uh, I didn't want to dodge into him. So he, he has an attack he'll use no matter what when he's yellow, but if you hit him right afterwards, it'll stun him briefly giving you a chance to land a combo attack on him. There we go. So there's some benefits going around the floor. Like, um, I guess since we've explored a bunch of this, I'm gonna just explore the rest because there's a couple of different uh, rooms you can get. And uh, one of them gives you a chance to uh, buy different arcana through the level using gold. You don't get to keep it permanently, it's just a temporary for the run you're currently in. No, no. I don't actually want to fight these guys. Yeah, this up here. So these glowing ones are enhanced. Every ability has an enhanced ability. So. Let's see. So, Cloud Arrow that confuses an enemy, causing it to attack itself and other enemies. Uh, Ring of Stone Shields, that's the one I was going to buy. Uh, that's a different dash that leaves a fire line. Uh, objects get brought in, and here's a power-up version of my attack. Which, if I go in here and actually fight these guys, I'll have enough money for. Alright, he has a double attack. Don't have enough money, really. Oh, and then there's the cursed room. It's uh, there's I think five or six different types of cursed rooms. Is there anything quite like a uh, quite as splendid as a magnificent pile of money? Let's make a deal. All of your gold for all of my chaos gems. Sure, why not? So, 
because that gained me back a little bit of health, and at the same time, it's probably better for me to focus on getting as many Chaos Gems as I can, and I shouldn't be actually using them at the beginning to get the 200 gold, because it may help me out, but in the end, I don't earn more than 20 Chaos Gems in a run, and right now I need to focus on saving them up to get as many power-ups as possible and items, because I do want to collect them all, and there's quite a bit of them. So as you can see, there's two levels in the boss, then there's three sets of those, and then a final boss that has three sets. Or sorry, three stages, not sets. I'm gonna take the risk. It's one of those boss fights right away, might as well. I'm not doing 100% the best anyway, so might as well just do what I can. No, I didn't want to go towards. Another thing that's hard for me to get used to is the dash I used to use was a teleport dash and it's kind of hard getting used to seeing my character actually dash again. But honestly in this game it's a lot of it just comes down to perfecting the dash itself. Well. As much as I'd love to go looking for the potion on here, I think I'd lose more health doing it. So in cases like this, where I know I'm not going to make it all the way to the end fight, I want to just try to progress as much as I can. So I'm going to leave this floor now and go right into the boss fight. So at least in this first video, you guys can see what the boss fight looks like. I'm hoping to beat him, but I'm... Not holding on my hopes too much. So you get 75 health when you enter every boss fight here, which is a big benefit. <laughs> so, he does his little spiel. It would be a shame for you to come this far and choke under pressure. Throw caution to the wind and give me your all. And I start with that attack, put my shields up. They have a set of attacks they do. Just like a normal boss, where I said they're yellow, they can't be uh, damaged, but they're doing an attack. But um, after they go out, if you hit them fast enough, it stuns them. Yeah, and you get a good combo off like that. Damn it. Oh God. And then they have a special ability, that one right there. It's kind of like their superpower. It's their strongest attack. So. Well, another thing to remember a lot about this game is defense is offense and offense is defense. You have to have both of them and they can work coexisting to each other as well as working as the opposite of what you'd usually think. As these shields, they end up doing a lot of damage so uh, it does work out in my favor sometimes. No, no, I can't die. I need to beat him. If I can at least get his, I will be happy. I need to get away. Need to get away. No, no, no. Oh. I gotta withstand one more set of attacks. One. This is the second one. Yes! Yes! Okay. We survived the first boss fight on six health. Perfect. If you're playing uh, co-op right here, you fight each other to the death. But we're not, so we get it. And now this in the gold here, we actually get to keep this ability when we leave the tomb. So this one will be added to our repertoire for our next run. And I will probably end up using it coexiding with uh, these. 
Because as much as I liked the ice shards, they're not the most practical for constant use, in my opinion. So, I have six health. Keep your expectations in mind. The upside is I have earth and electricity surrounding me, so... I might be able to make it through a couple of rooms to get my health back. But I'm not holding my hopes up too, too much on that. So... Alright, let's do this. No! Oh my god. That is such a new move. Like, I feel like such an idiot. The knights and the arcane archers and the wizards are three of the classes you will need to watch out for the most. And, oh, just getting hit in the wall there. That sucks. So, for people on YouTube, we are going to call it there. For anybody wondering the usual length of these videos, they're going to be basically one run is going to be one episode. Unless we end up dying in the first level, then I will probably do a second one in that video. So, thank you for watching our first episode of Wizards of Le Legend. And keep an eye out on Twitch because I'm doing all of it on there. And then taking it from there and throwing it up on YouTube for everyone. So have a great day and we'll see you on the next one.